to birds. So I have watercolor paper here. Let's see. I have. Let's see. I haven't used these in a while. My Target. Target left Canada here for a while ago. And this is when I bought these. Um, before I. It left obviously and this is all I have left of these watercolor crayons so I'm going to play with these because I haven't done that in a while my hands are hideous don't mind them I'm still I haven't cleaned in between the project here just okay this is my cleaning I grab my thing like I was telling you guys just doing that lemon squeezy and there's no lemon in the water but you know when you go to the restaurant and that's it that's the between cleans I get here because I if I stop I don't know. I just don't want to stop. So that's what I get for cleaning. Oops, noise. That's what I get for cleaning here in between. So anyway, grab another paper towel. That is it, guys. So I could stop and go and do that, but I, I just don't. I don't. I keep going and going. So. I'm just going to play with this guy like this and no reason for it really I'm just going like this here. We'll see. I could even make more birds if this doesn't work out to my whatever I want. Grabbing this, throwing some water on it, and I'm going to go this purple. This guy's really pretty. Just spreading color on him just because I don't know exactly what colors I want. Right now, and this one, I'm just gonna make her colors more brownie. She's a girl, and he's the pretty boy. Add more colors to them but I just want to play I could even like I said change my mind save them for something else well we'll see I like them so far so I'm gonna dry them up but I think I want to um, kind of make a wing here right kind of make a wing here so I'm using scrap paper for that Well, that was good. Trying to make a scrap paper uh, cover for this. I want to make his wing a little bit different. Spotted. Spotted wing. See how that looks. And I could put a tad color on her. Very cute. So I am adding, I might, I'm adding more of this watercolor type of crayon. Yeah, there's my brush in the water. 
just to add detail to like that. See, making it more pretty. I think I'm going to add some detail to her. She's brown, but we still want her to look pretty. There we go. I'm just going to make some circles on her belly. See how that goes if I kind of swirl those in. Take some water off. See that? See that looks kind of nice. Very cute. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to make a nice. So I gave him a nice black eye, <laughs> black eye butter, and then once it uh, dries up a bit, I'll give him a little bit of light in his eye. Um, I'm not happy with these recollection pans, as you see, this one just didn't do the job for me. It is very broken. I was trying to do the tree. I'm not happy about that. So, so far this is it. I think I'm just going to maybe Bird. seal it. I was looking for my black pen or black, uh, what you call it? I got my, oh, my husband bought this calligraphy pen. I'm not a great calligraphy writer, but, oh my goodness, look at my fingers. Don't look at my fingers. But I'm going to use it for my details because I can't find my pen. So I'm shaking my black ink. I'm like cray cray. And I don't think I'm going to put it down. But I'm just going to see if I could just. It's been a while. Don't mind it's been a while. Okay. So I'm going to just make some details with this. Because I cannot find my um, gel, my gel pen or anything, and it's really starting to frustrate me. So I'm just going to make some details. And this is just, like, not a particular bird, because I have no idea what kind of bird this is. This is just a bird shape. So I'm going to kind of do some details with my calligraphy pen. Like I said, I don't know how to use it really properly, this pen. Um, but I play with it, you know. So. And I'm just going to use it for for this. Really. So this is my watercolor paper too, so it's nice and thick. So I can put some pressure on here. I guess I should probably do more stuff with this. I've been meaning to, but I just haven't. But I'm getting frustrated. Like I said, I can't find my gel pen, so this is why I'm using it for, for this. So it's not really meant to look like a realistic bird. It's meant to look like just a bird, really. So yeah, I notice I have glue everywhere sticking on my fingers, so... At least, you know, if you got one of these, you know you're going to be able to write on your stuff. It's going to work. So... No, no, no. And that's what I'm going for. I'm just like, can't find my pan. 
Well, it's a good excuse to use something else, isn't it? There we go. We did. We did. So he's looking cute. Just going to go crazy with it. You see him? He's pretty good. He's pretty big. Pretty big. So let's see. Let's make her. Well, she's got kind of have some of the same traits. Of course, she doesn't have to be exactly the same because she's a girl. Girls are different. If we haven't noticed that. <laughs> Girls are different. Okay. So I don't know. I'm just going to go with... Uh, try and make her a little... Same. A little different. I like the stenciling. I did some spraying too through it, so... Love it. Do, do. So I don't really have imagination with these guys. I don't know. Notice I bumped the ink there, it wasn't dry. I'm really dipping it in a lot too. Sorry guys, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. Let's make her a little, I don't know. There we go, eyelashes. This is cool. I will put some orange, I think, on the beaks, and I might add more color to him with paint. I don't know. Mm. Gotta kind of make them somewhat similar, right? There we go. Cute little birds. Add some yellow. Probably should wet my brush. Add some yellow to my bird. Um, I try to be careful because my ink's not dry. Being impatient, waiting is not an option. <laughs> really. I'm being crazy. I'm just having fun with it though, really, realistically. So, just having fun with it. Do I want yellow here? Maybe I'll add a little bit of red, make it orange. I don't know. There we go. Watercolor. Kind of like with those water crayon thingies. Oh my god. Ink in there. Homemade ink with the Wilkins dye. You name it, it's in there. So. I'm going to add a little red to that. 
to make it a teeny orange. There we go. There we go. Perfection. So this is just like mixed media, guys. There's nothing like, hmm, you know, I have to do this or have to do that. I mean, no kind of birds. These are just made up fun birds for this canvas. So I'm just playing with it. Just adding some other colors to it really just to have some kind of something else on it really. So it don't matter. I'm gonna go with some little white here on some of these. I'm gonna do some circles. Like I said, it's not totally dry the ink, but if it smears, that's gonna make it look that much cooler. Just like that. Just like that. Let's see. Put a little bit of yellow and white together. Gonna get a little creamier color. Just to get you know, these spots maybe. But don't want too dark. There we go. I'm playing, guys. All right. I'm gonna get some white and some pink, white and some red. Mixing it in with the watercolor, it does matter, it's just for fun. Grabbing more white now, throwing it on top. Need some teal, I think. Could I use maybe blue, but whoa. Too much. I'm going to use something. Make something else now. I'm going to throw some teal in here. And there we go. So I'm just going to throw some colors in, guys. So you have fun with your birds if you decide to do birds. I hope this was an inspiration for you guys, really. There's some background color, so it could um, really show through. This is not, this is just fun. fun, fun, fun. There we go. I like him the way he is. I might add a little more pinky to his, mm, or purple maybe, to his cheeks. And that's about it, really. There we go.
See that? He looks so cute. And I'm going to add orange to his brush. These are just dollar store brushes. They're not really, you know, they're just cheap. And you can do a lot with them anyway. So I'm just doing it to the top. I got enough pinky, reddish, orangey on the bottom with mixed in with the black ink, and I like that. So I'm just doing the top. And that's about it. I think I can actually throw some highlights of whatever colors I want because this is totally mixed media. And I could totally do anything that I want with it. So you guys play with it and do what you want. If you want, practice some birds. Go for it. But anyways, these birds are meant to go on top of my canvas. So I'm going to seal them in after I get them all dry here. And then I'm going to get the right brush. I don't want to use this angle brush for that job. Then I'm just going to have to fix her eyebrows or eyelashes. Then I'm going to seal her in and then I'm going to put them to the, to the canvas. Oh, messed up her eyebrows, her eyelashes. Now they look like eyebrows. That's okay, actually. I know. The ink did not dry. Kind of using the same color, pulling them in together a bit more. Oh, those kids. Crazy. And I'm really just playing. You can do anything, really. I'm just really just playing. I'm going to seal these guys up and we're going to add them up to the, the last um, thing I'm going to do before I I do add it to my piece is I'm just going over with my um, watercolor crayons. These are this pack here and I'm just going over my lines because I don't want them too hard. This is um, just a fun piece. I don't want to, I want to look good like, you know, I just want to look like not, I didn't come out of the coloring book type of thing. I just want to look um, a little softer, and I might have to. I'll darken the edges too. So, but I just want to play with it, right? So, soften up my lines a bit here, and I really do want my edges nice and dark. So. This is gonna break it up. I might have to cut a little. I might have too much of because I did make my lines a little space between, you know, a little thick here or away from the edge. So I don't know. We'll see how it looks before I complain about it. Let's see how it looks, right? So. There we go. I'm just going to do my edges, wet them down a bit, and get them going. And there we go. Let's see here. I don't know where my water brush is, guys. It went... Oh, wait. I found it. Wow. After all that time. I am terrible. I did find it. That is terrible. I was just whining to myself about how I don't know where my, or I guess to you guys, I don't know where my brushes. 
Alright. Anyway. And I just happened to spot it. Isn't that funny? Just happened to spot it. So and now I'm just gonna do my edges because I really want it dark on my edges. Now I got like actual acrylic paint on here. I got watercolor, uh, those kind of crayony folk I don't know if they're real crayony, waxy, soft kind of target crayons on there. Now I have actual um water crayon the black i actually have food coloring dyes i sprayed on there so i have quite the mixed media on this one on this piece so it's kind of like a heinz 57 is that what it's called heinz 57 of paint on here but why not just play with everything you got and throw it all together and see what you can do with it so I am just now, look at how nice it's pulling it together better to me, making it look more, I don't know, not so, it came out of a, like a uh, coloring book to me. I was looking to, the ink was nice though, I like the ink. Yeah, I even did the ink with the calligraphy pen, that was fun. I'm nothing fancy about that, but I kind of just did straight edges, but... That was fun. Still. So yeah, it's really nice to use this. And thicken it up. I see I, I missed some places here. some nice nice eh I just love that these are really big birds too usually you don't make them that big but for canvases right but whatever how do you think she feels she feels so pretty I like her I like him. Now, I am going to do a little, sorry guys, do a little white. Where's my stylus? Here I go again complaining. Where is something? Where is something? Mm, right here. Terrible. I am terrible. Let's see. I'm going to do a little Use the small end of my stylus to make a second little piece. There we go. They look beautiful. Okay. I'm very happy with these guys. They look so pretty. I'm going to glue them on first, and I might spray seal. I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. Yeah, how I'm going to seal them. This is a uh, watercolor paper that I use on here. So it's nice and thick. I'm using my Aileen's Tacky Glue. And... And I'm going to do him and her bird. And I think this is a really nice mixed media collage type of it. Um, um, canvas because it's like collaging with tissue paper, music paper, and all that kind of stuff. And the tree pieces and the flower pieces, you can go over it with your pen. Um, I might go over it with the calligraphy pen, I don't know, because I'm, I'm trying to think like what is going to work. What's going to work considering I can't find my, my um, gel pens. And they never did work too well. The only ones I usually did use was the black. And so I do have several gold, uh, I mean gold, do go, 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 um, several inks, gold on the brain. 
I do got a lot of gold paint. I love gold. Um, so I could, perfect, I could uh, just use a lot of calligraphy ink. Now, let's stick them down. I love it. It looks so pretty. Because my fingers are so sticky and I've got ink and I just don't want to mess up my beautiful birds. So I'm just going to rub them on like this. And there we go. Just like that. And ta -da! looking at beauty birds. beautiful so I might just mod podge over this because it's not going to be terrible um I'm going to mod podge over it let's try that out I'm going to mod uh, I broke my pen or I broke my brush I'm going to mod podge over it um I'm probably going to do detailed with my calligraphy pen maybe let's we'll see hmm do I want to just make sure I get all really stuck first Let's go, let's go, let's stick it, let's stick it. I do want to get my birds down. Aren't they pretty? So, my son is Skyping with somebody who I was Skyping with. I was kind of, we were having a group Skype yesterday for like almost three hours. Crazy. Okay. Have it on. Modging podging. And it's not wrecking it. Look at that. See? It's not smearing it. And if it did a little bit, not a big deal. Not a big deal, right? So I'm just going around the edges here, just trying to get this sealed in. This is the fun of it. You just play with this canvas and go for it. The only thing I knew at the beginning of this was that I wanted to do um, a bird for sure, maybe two. So look how it turned out. Pretty cute. And then I want to use tissue papers and that kind of thing. I didn't want to necessarily, besides the birds, draw anything or anything like that. So it looks like they're adhering to it really great on the edges as well. So, looks good. Drying it up and then I might make some details with the flowers and and that kind of thing with my ink and that. Kind of